You know, I was off this weekend and I learned a lot of good stuff. Number one thing being, I don't think I have a future cut out for me for uh, tinting out things. <laughs> Tried tinting out my headlights again with the Vivid Vinyls stuff and nothing on Vivid Vinyls, the product was really good. I just don't know what the hell I'm doing, so it doesn't look that good. Me and my girlfriend tried giving it a shot, came out as best as we could get it. Looks better than it did before. Kind of messed up one really badly, but I gotta take some pictures and I gotta see how they come out in pictures, see if I'll actually keep it. In person, it don't look that good, but in pictures, it might look just fine. What is going on, guys? Today is a day. If you guys watched my last video, I installed a no a new a new Tome test pipe for the BRZ and it made the car louder and sound better. And today is the video that everyone's waiting for because they want to hear sound clips of it. So we're gonna do some sound clips. First things first is I'm gonna go wash the car because I want to make it look a little bit prettier. And I already recorded my uh, my cold start and the thing is, I've had a drive today, and it's also 60 degrees today, so the car wasn't really cold. So that was as best I could get it. I'll try to get another cold start sometime when it's actually cold in the morning or something, when it's like below freezing, so we can get a good one for you guys because my cold starts are crazy because the way my tune is and everything, the car like backfires like crazy as soon as I start it and it gets wild. But enough of me talking because I know you guys don't want to hear me just talking the entire time. So we'll get to the sound clips now for you guys. And I hope they uh, come out good. I'm going to be adjusting my microphone so I have no background noise, just exhaust noises to the best of my ability. Don't really know how to work the microphone thing on this yet, but I'm learning. It's a learning process, so let's hope they come out good. I was just in the neighborhood of the Chevy dealership because I was driving around here trying to find more spots to make sound clips and stuff. And I just was curious if they had any C8s in there. They don't have any in their showroom, but they have like every color C7 in there that I've ever seen in my life. Like the entire showroom inside is just C7s and I've never seen that. I thought it was kind of a cool thing. I have come to the conclusion that I live in a very boring area for cars. No C8s at Chevy, no GTRs at our Nissan, and I know our Nissan is GTR certified. Maybe there's an NSX at our Acura dealership. I know we got one Supra at Toyota, but I'm gonna see if they have more, because I, I wanna see one. I am happy about my find right now. Time for a small little edit about what I just found.
So the first time I came to this dealership, they had a launch edition Supra inside. And it looks like he sold it for a red one. Because I know the owner of this Toyota dealership likes to buy cars that you can't really get and just have them in his showroom and mark them up like crazy. And that's what happened with his Supra. He had, a, I think it was a white one that had red, yeah, that had the launch edition red mirror caps. And then he marked it up to like 150,000 if anyone wanted to buy it. Not in this dealership anymore, so he might have actually taken it home. He might drive it where he sold it because people are ridiculous when it comes to cars like that. But then you come here and you know, there's two Supras here. There's a red one inside and this black one with the carbon mirror caps on the outside. That's a cool find for today. And so far I'm pleased with my finds. After doing videos of like sound clips and stuff, I really like to make my content like over 10 minutes long and just doing sound clips, it's really tough to do that with. So I'm trying my best to get the best sounds possible and I've driven in a couple spots and I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be, but I think I got some decent clips. Now, I guess it's kind of important to tell you guys what my setup is, because I don't think I said that in the beginning of the video, but my exhaust mods are just my Tomei Extreme TI front pipe and an FT86 axle back muffler delete. The only other thing that could change my tone would be my engine evolution air intake and then my pops come from my tune which i have plenty of videos on so that's all that i have with my exhaust and it is very loud and that's why i tried to turn my mic down as much as possible to see if i can really get like good sounding clips with it so hopefully they came out pretty good of how they wanted them to be but that's all i have going on for my setup and i have nothing else there nothing else deleted I have one cat left, one resonator left, and that's the only thing muffling my sound. I do want to get headers, but I am a little bit afraid to get headers because I know how loud it's going to be. Because as soon as my buddy got headers on his, his car just got ridiculously loud, and I'm really nervous for that. But I have an idea of when I get headers about an exhaust setup that I might want to go with just to make it quieter but still like sound aggressive because i don't want it quiet i like this tone and i like this like level where i'm at now well i'd like to sound deeper but i like the level i'm at now personally i think it's like a really good loud it's not too loud it, it can get rowdy but i wanted to keep it here so i have an idea for an, ex uh, an exhaust setup that i want to do after i get headers but you know it's all that's going to come with time and we'll really see what happens with it so with all of that being said, I'm pretty sure I have nothing else to show you guys. So I am gonna leave you guys off here today. We're about to hit a thousand subscribers. I'm doing a giveaway at a thousand subscribers. I already got my partners with it. It's gonna be lit, it's gonna be dope. The next thing we just gotta do is we gotta subscribe so I get to 1K and then we gotta work on that watch time. Watch time is gonna be everything for me now. That's why I'm gonna try to push out longer content. We're gonna try to get that watch time skyrocket up there because that's the next point. Because so then we get monetized and we can start doing better car stuff, more mods, more cars, do all that stuff if we're monetized. And that's the goal. So if you guys could just please comment, like, subscribe, keep doing all that fun stuff. Keep doing you. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Peace.